Hello, my name is Lisa Schanz and I'm a PhD student in the MixEnable project, which is a European project with seven European countries. MixEnable is about mixed livestock farming, so farms with more than one livestock species or more than one production type. So more than one production type could mean beef cattle and dairy cattle on one farm. Our aim was to characterize these different farms on different levels, so in terms of sustainability and robustness and resilience. So we did three animal experiments in our project. One was in Switzerland with cattle and sheep in a rotational system. One was in France with cattle and sheep in a co-grazing and comparison group with single species groups. And one was in Germany with young cattle and broiler chickens in a mixed group and separate groups to compare. Overall, we did see that, for example, the parasites weren't affected and to stay with the cattle and sheep for the moment. Uh, the sheep that were with the cattle, their lambs uh, reached their slaughter weight earlier than the ones in the um, comparison group where it was single species group, so just sheep. And for the final animal experiment, uh, we looked at cattle and broiler chickens when they're together and uh, looked at interactions and behavior, but uh, also on broiler losses, so how many birds are picked up by predatory birds. We saw in our experiment that the cattle seemed to be some sort of protection for the birds, so there were fewer losses in the mixed group than in the single species group. So for a wider range of behaviors, we didn't see any differences between the mixed and the single species groups, which uh, could be seen as something positive since there weren't any hurtful interactions between the animals when they're mixed. The one thing that we did see was that the broiler chickens seem to interact less with other broilers when they're in the mixed group compared to the single species group. So this could be that they compensate by having the, a similar amount of overall interactions but with different species or with just one species. The conclusion from all the experiments would be that the behavior is not negatively affected by another species. It could possibly be interpreted as something positive and uh, other aspects like the parasites, they seem to be similar in this experiment. In previous literature, it was also shown that the parasite load was lower in mixed groups. In the French experiment and in the literature, we saw that uh, the slaughter weight was reached earlier by at least one of the two species that were mixed. And this could be because the lambs feel less stressed and reach their slaughter weight earlier because they feel protected by the cattle, which is a bigger species. In our project we showed that there are different aspects of these mixed farms that seem to be very suitable and sustainable for the future, for example the economic stability, the high work satisfactions for the farmers and also in terms of animal welfare and uh, animal behaviour possibly. If you want to know more about the Mixed Enabler project you can find all our publications and all the information on the Organic ePrints website, the link is in the description below. Mm -hmm.